We're gonna do the second session with pickles. You guys asked for more puppy videos after I posted the video with pickles yesterday. So we're gonna do come, coming with a puppy, recall with a puppy, all right? So here's the thing about basic obedience, sit, stay, come to some degree. What you guys wanna do is give big hand signals or big body language signals or big cues early on. So come, for example, with a puppy, you wanna be bit, like, you wanna be like, come and like be like clappy and get them to come to you in order to reinforce them. Then you're gonna fade that out when they're older to just come, right? But you gotta get them to do the behavior. Don't be a boring guy with a puppy being like, come here, and then like wondering why the dog's not, not doing it. It's because you're boring and it's puppy and puppies' brains are not formed at all, all right? You gotta do things totally different with a four-month-old dog than you do with a year-and-a-half-old dog. They're not even the same animal. They're, they're totally, totally different. You gotta be softer with them. You gotta be patient with them. They are not gonna understand a lot. So, let's try now. Having said you should do big old hand signals, I'm gonna see if he won't do it with, if they'll do it with a less of a hand signal, that's great. Most dogs will not though. Okay, remember the treat thing with little dogs like this. Tiny treats, don't even give them. This is the tiniest of treats. I'm gonna give him, I could do 10 reinforcements with this treat with a dog this, this big. Okay, let's see if come works. The cue is hand down to the ground saying come. He might not do it, so I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go like come, and then when he does it, I'm gonna put the hand down. Ready? Pickles, come. Beautiful, uh-uh. Now, I am not gonna reinforce that. Think about it for a second. Why am I not gonna reinforce that behavior? Because I said come, he did it perfectly, and then I went to get the treat, and he jumped. So truly, what am I reinforcing if I treat him? I'm treating the jump. We can get one without the jump, which I then will reinforce, hopefully. Go Pickles, go play. Pickles, come! And then, what did I do different that time, guys? Instead of having the treat like come, and then having the treat up, oh, why am I gonna reinforce that? Pickles just came in front of me and sat. He didn't jump. Remember, Pickles is working on jumping or not jumping. So the first time I went come and then I kind of like had my hand up and he came up to jump and I'm like, no, no, no. I don't care that you came. I'm not going to reinforce the jump. Second one came. I had the treat already down and gave it to him. So I didn't let him jump. Oh, now you're being a good boy. I want him to be distracted. I want him to go do something else. Pickles, come. Yes, beautiful. I gave the rest of that treat. I didn't do 10 reinforcements with that little treat. Pickles, come. Good boy, yes. Am I gonna reinforce? He was a little excited, a little jumpy. Who cares, he's a puppy. Okay, now let's start to work on stays. So he's sitting after the come, which is really great. So let's start to go come. Touches my hand, which is the cue. Remember the cue for touch or for come is to them touch your hand because that gives them a place. They go, oh yeah, my nose to that hand. It's a very concrete thing. That's adult dogs and puppies. All right, my nose to that hand. I understand what that come means. And then we're going to do sit, stay. Watch sit, stay. Pickles, come. Yes. Then we're going to treat. Now let's work on stay. Stay. I like to give a little distraction with the feet. I want to do four. Stay. Oh, hi, how are you? Stay. One step back. Stay. Uh-uh. Actually, first session, puppy, I don't care. I'm surprised I got that. So what did I do? I did a stay, I stood up, I reinforced for the dog staying while I stood up. Then I did a hi, how are you? Lots of dogs will just, the, they'll just get up the minute you say something because they're so used to you teaching a stay like this. Stay, stay, stay. Then the minute you take your eyes off them or say something, the dog's like, I'm free. So you got a condition. They need to stay even when you talk, even when you move your feet, even when you back up. And me personally, I start that process the first session. That was the first stay session I've done with Pickles. I got my feet moving. I got stood up. I turned, to, I turned away and I said, hi, how are you? Then he left me, he's three months, first session. I was like, uh-uh, but he doesn't even know what that means, so he's just like, I'm out of here. I can fix that later, I don't really care. One more.
Pickles, come. Yes. Keep treating that come, no matter what. Keep giving a tiny treat for that. Stay. Stay. Oh, that's a big treat. Stay. Hey, how are you guys? It's good to see you again. Okay. And then in that last one, I got that release in there. You want to release the dog to, to, to you want to say, I'm going to try to get three feet back, or I'm going to try to fully stand up, or I'm going to try to talk to somebody, have a goal for stay, and then release the dog at the end of stay, because the release is going to eventually become the reinforcement. We don't want to be giving treats for stay all the time. So you're going to eventually go stay, to, to walk away, talk to your friend, uh, whatever you want. And then the reinforcement is not a treat. The reinforcement is okay, or release, or free, or whatever your release cue is. All right, and then that's the reinforcement when they're adults. That's not the reinforcement now because the dog's young and we want added like good job with treats. Okay, so that's pickles. Uh, we saw one jump. We started our stay with distance, right? I backed up. Distraction, I talked to somebody. And duration, yeah, I, I had the stay go longer and longer. First session, I added the three Ds, distance, distraction, and duration. In the first session, get to it. Work on these stays or these down stays and be fading out treats, fading out hand signals, adding distance, distraction, duration right away. Now don't go nuts with it. Just, just little steps forward is going to get you this awesome dog later on. And we worked on come. The hand signal was down. I said at the beginning, be big and be like, come on. He didn't need that. Why am I going to do a cue the dog doesn't need because I'm just going to have to fade that cue out later. So I just got rid of the, what I told you was be excited. He didn't need it. I could actually just say, come, he touches his nose to my hand and then I reinforced. Well, I didn't need the big stuff. I don't want to use treats or use big hand signals, body signals, if the dog's doing it without them because then I have to just fade it out later. And the less you have to fade out, the better your training's going to be. So don't first forget to subscribe to the channel.